So here we go, welcome back. This is video 36 in the series, and this one's all about tiling. If you're new to the channel, uh, the series started at one back in November of last year when they started building the house. And this is the point we're at right now. This is tiling inside the master bathroom, inside the shower area. It's interesting when it comes to drilling the holes to go around the water taps, water fixtures, they don't have drills. Like he doesn't use one, he uses a grinder. So that's interesting. Otherwise, uh, what can I tell you? These videos have all been shot by Jen, so I'm not there right now. And she's been doing this and sending them to me and I've been putting them together. Here's an electrician up there. So we have the yellow conduit running through everything. Uh, so there'll be no bare wires, so he's pulling all those through. They do work quite high, and when the ceiling guys are in, they're even higher. And no safety lines. I'm always surprised at that. The flexible yellow, that's going to be to the um, to the pot lights and things. This woman outside, she's painting the trims, which they're installing here around the planter box and around the windows. We'll see more of that once we get to the outside look. But yeah, so Jen's been shooting these videos for me, sending them to me. I've been putting them together making the videos. The first couple of times, four or five months ago I did it, I was using the little pop-up windows to explain everything. And then uh, it was brought to my attention, people don't like to read YouTube, they want to listen. So then uh, someone asked me to do a voiceover, so I thought, okay, yeah, I can do that, sure. And uh, so here we go. So this is upstairs now, where the double gables are. Again, the flex flexible conduit's gonna be for the pot lights when they put the ceilings in, then they'll know where to drop those down. So a lot of the home construction in Thailand, they'll only use the conduit in the walls and they don't use it in the, any of the upper areas. And we were told that you really should have it there. It's better, keeps the rodents away, things like that. So, uh, so that's what we did. This is this lady again. She's just painting the trims on the outside. So the trim itself is also a fiber, fibrous concrete, which is cut uh, with grinders with a four inch sort of grinder on it. We'll see that once we get to outside again. Here's this fella doing his wiring and stuff. So they're not using the cement mixers for doing the, the tile anymore. So they're just doing this by hand. I'm not really sure. I can't ask Jen the questions because she doesn't really know either. I didn't know why the one fella was doing a little bucket, maybe to keep it really wet. Right now this fella is measuring up to put the, uh, the trim on. So they, here's a, a piece that he's picking up here. They trim all the windows and doors, all the openings, the gables, the chimney, all on the outside. Here's a piece up here. And, uh, it seems everything in Thailand comes in 10 foot sections at the most. Even if you were going to put uh, gutters on your house, it seems to be like it's sections that you piece together. Kind of like a do-it-yourself guy at, the, at the Home Depot or something. Home Pro. Where here, in Canada, they would bring up the truck and they would make a continuous gutter if you wanted 30 feet, 80 feet, they just roll it off. But even this here, the grinding, um, and every cut they make, they use this little hand grinder where I thought at home they might just use like a chop saw, you know, like a, a pile saw with the water on it, and yeah, nope, I'll just do that. But when the fellow picks it up over on the, on the right hand side here with the squares on the shirt, it, it does seem kind of heavy. And I'm thinking that these are only held in place like with a couple of couple of nails, screws, whatever they are. They pre-drill the back and they hammer in dowels. But right there, look kind of heavy. But uh, right where the fellow with the blue shirt is, that's going to be our main door coming in. And all along here, towards the camera, is going to be the, um, the sliding doors and windows. This is inside the master bath. Jen's pointing at this water pipe. Uh, I'm not sure why. And then this side here is the shower, so there will be the glass walls in it and stuff. That'll be the floor drain for the shower. This fellow's putting the tiles on. Where the bathtub is, and that's like a little pony wall there. So what he does, he puts a little schmutz of uh, cement where he wants to drill his holes. Then when he holds his tile up in place, you can see the little marks of cement on the tile. Takes them outside and uses his grinder. Cuts from the back. You'll see it though. Obviously, I don't need to tell you that it's coming up in the video. This is just drilling the holes for the trim. 
hammer and some dowels. Fell over in the red, that's actually a woman, sorry. The woman in the red shirt, she's um, just putting on the, the mud sort of between the trim and the wall, giving it the smooth sort of finish. Right here they use the grinder, a couple of pictures, but then they, uh, they eventually end up with a hole in the middle instead of using the drill. I just, I just thought that was kind of a, uh, interesting. You know, if you only had one tool, I guess that's what you do. It seems time consuming. But, uh, yeah, it works. Also, in doing this video, um, I'm putting these together. The last one I did was just Jen doing a walkthrough, which was uh, very informative that some people wanted to see, you know, see the people working again. Where's Grandma? How come Grandma doesn't have shoes on? <laughs> this is the uh, another look inside the bathroom. This is the, oh, sorry, this is the secondary bathroom. This is the guest room. So it'll have a shower on the left side. There'll be a toilet. And then the cabinet for this one, the sink is going to be a floating cabinet, which goes onto the wall. And that's why there's no concrete base for this one. Where that groove is in the wall, that's where the, um, the aluminum railing goes for the, uh, for the glass windows and doors. Back outside now, this is on the street side. This is the trim that they're putting around the windows. They put it around the garage, like I say, and the scooter door. We'll all get that trimmed out look. So if you are new to the channel, you might want to just uh, subscribe so you don't miss anything. If you go back to, like I say, video one, it will show right from the beginning when the land is cleared and the pole raising ceremony, sort of a Thai tradition. People find that interesting. And then the progress along the way. Most of the video I shot and I'm just talking as I'm walking around pointing at things. This is the, uh, the face shift sort of between the upper and lower deck, upper and lower floors on the outside. Just gives it that trim. You can sort of see it on the left where the scaffolding is. There will be another look for it though. This uh, is just the sinks. This is the sink that we're going to install. This style where it hangs over the front counter and that's why those grooves are cut like that. Or why the, the counter is made like that. Be a couple of plugins and a mirror and the lights. On this bathroom, this is the master bath. All of these taps are mixer taps, so they will have hot and cold water running to them. Um, it seemed that the main bathroom was too far away to do that, so we're running, uh, so they're having its own separate uh, hot, little hot water machine for that one. But these ones will run off of uh, an advanced hot water tank system. It's instant heat, instant water, but it's not the ones that mount in the wall in the shower. This actually goes under the counter, and that's why there's a few extra taps and power underneath this counter here. Jen's just gonna run up the stairs now. I sped this up a bit. And then up here, not much has changed. So uh, once she turns around, I'll speed this part up a bit too as well, once she turns the other way. But this is just showing uh, more of the conduit hanging down. And, uh, and there will be a lot more because of how many lights that they're putting in the ceiling. For those that watched some of those uh, earlier videos, that's where that solid wall was built. It's a really good quality wall, but it's supposed to be an opening. So just more of the, the conduit in the ceilings. Extra wire. The wire is interesting in Thailand. It's all individually coated individual wires. Where here in construction, it's generally like the white coating if it's like interior. But it would have the three wires. It would have the black wire, the white wire, and the copper. Oh, we're coming to the end. This is Yumi's latest surprise. That's what happens when you chase a scooter. Thanks for watching. Ding that bell.